Informational meetings, tedious map drawings, and loads of workshops have tended to dissuade people from getting involved with how congressional lines are drawn. But with civil rights advocates putting a spotlight on voting rights in the U.S., a process called redistricting is getting way more attention than ever before. So Delta Sigma Theta, it's one of uh, the oldest African-American sororities in the U.S., and as we know, has a long social justice tradition stemming from uh, the founders who marched on Washington back in 1930 for women's voting rights. Talk to us about why redistricting has become such a priority for you today. Redistricting is a part of a three-year uh, plan that Delta Sigma Theta uh, participated in. Who you elected in 2018 and 2019 uh, will be the people who either draw the maps or will um, sign those maps into law in 2021. And so we wanted to make sure that we were heavily participating um, in this process because it is about power and access. And we wanted to make sure that our members in the communities that they serve were able to be a part of this very important process. And Keila, can you talk about that effort and, and sort of what it looks like on the ground in these communities? Uh, because I didn't realize, I mean, anybody can be a part of this, this process and, and uh, you know, offer their own commentary too. And really everybody should be a part of this process, whether it is uh, watching online or in person, uh, the map draws and the work that they're doing, providing testimony, or even providing alternative maps. Um, the members of Delta Sigma Theta are really doing all three of those. So whether it's their city council, their counties, they all have to go through the redistricting process after the decennial census that we had last year. And so we are uh, wanting to make sure that um, our communities are aware of redistricting, that they know how important it is in connecting the dots to public policy, um, but also being able to lend our voice about um, the real issues that impact redistricting, such as racial gerrymandering, prison gerrymandering, um, even, even partisan gerrymandering that has an impact on this process. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.